this is the second video in the rules of engagement series and in the previous one you saw how noble sarmatian counterfracts and elite gothersai defeated the noble germanics and the elite gothersai if they even if they used diamond formation uh, defeated them if they used a deep formation as well so in this test we're going to see how cheaper shock cavalry does germanic lancers and Sarmatian Cataphracts. The cheaper you're able to defeat your enemy, matching units up against each other, the more units you can bring to the battlefield and the more cost-effective your army becomes. And cost-effectiveness wins battles. So, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to have Noble Germanic Horse in Diamond Formation. They're going to be charging into Germanic Lancers two ranks deep. Here, Sarmatian Cataphracts two ranks deep. The Chief Shock Cavalry is going to continue through and get at the elite Agathosai, like so. Because what will happen, of course, is that the some Sarmatians will engage the front of the of the diamond, but some will continue straight through to get at the infantry behind. So let's see if using cheaper shock cavalry options, it's still possible to make this work. So first, the Sarmatian cataphracts, and being two ranks deep allows more cataphracts to make it out of the blob. And this charge is going to be absolutely devastating for the Elite Gothrosai. Uh, one charge, and they're essentially off the field. And the, here are the Noble Germanics, they follow the uh, Sarmatian Cataphracts. The Germanic Lancers also, I mean, the charge bonus plus impact damage means that, means that even Germanic Lancers, even Medium Shock Cavalry, will one-shot these units. And when they are in a narrow formation, it's just... Uh, they will just get wrecked on a single charge. And you can see both units. I'm using Headhunt here, but there are so few units left. And now the support from the Elite Gothersai comes in and will absolutely destroy the, the Noble Germanics in Diamond. But uh, you can see, uh, as in the previous test, these units were not able to use their precursors. But neither were these Elite Gothersai. And I think one of the reasons why that might be happening is because of the speed. Sarmatian cataphracts are faster. Because they are medium shock, and because these units are medium shock, they are faster than heavier shock cavalry units. So speed becomes a factor here, because now they have increased charge speed and increased movement speed. And that means, at least my take on it, is that it means that they're able to make it into the Agathosai fast enough that the Agathosai are not able to use their precursors. And that, of course, means that they are able to smash into the rear of the Noble Germanic Horse after these... Uh, after they have defeated the Elite Agathosai. So, using sh cheaper, faster Shock Cavalry, this... result is actually much better for the Allens. And you can kind of see the utility of units like uh, Sarmatian Cataphracts here and, and Germanic Lancers. They do very well in this role. As long as they're not left in prolonged melee, they do a great job. So if you were up against a player that does this, that uses his diamond formation against your shock, you continue through and then you go back. You can defeat his, his um, Noble Germanics or comparable melee cavalry units and shock infantry very very easily and i do believe speed becomes a factor here but these these two units are so much cheaper than the noble germanics and the uh, elite gothersai on the opposite side that you can actually bring an additional skirmish unit which changes things quite a lot so what we're going to be doing in the next rules of engagement is we're going to be looking at cheap shock cavalry versus melee cavalry and then then the also, some cheap skirmishers, keeping still keeping the price l uh, lower than the price of the Noble Germanic Horse and the Elite Gothersai. Strength and honor.